Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to ChasingCinema.com's official YouTube channel. I'm your host Jacob Toronto and today we're going to be talking about the trailer, teaser trailer, for London Has Fallen. 2013, Olympus Fell. That's right, I don't know if you remember the movie Olympus Has Fallen, where Gerard Butler single-handedly takes down a terrorist threat, saves the president. If you didn't know that, I'm sorry, it's kind of a spoiler alert, but if you thought for one second that Gerard Butler was going to fail at his mission and Olympus Has Fallen, then you're a fool! Hope I didn't blow out the ears of anyone listening on headphones. But nonetheless, uh, Olympus Has Fallen hit theaters in 2013 and actually ended up being a financial success, making a decent amount of money and a, actually a pretty fun action movie. I didn't have any pro I, I mean, I didn't have many problems with it, but uh, actually I did have a lot of problems with it. But overall, I think it was a fun time. Uh, so it's no surprise with the financial success that they decided to make a sequel. The sequel is a movie that I've actually kind of talked about a few times on this YouTube channel. If you've not heard me talk about London Has Fallen, make sure to go to check out our YouTube page and uh, check out all the times I've talked about it because I've done it a few times. I think most recently I talked about the um, the release date changed. And this movie is set to release July, uh, I'm sorry, January 22nd, 2016. So um, that was the last time I talked about it. Now the teaser trailer is here. If you've not seen this trailer, make sure to head over to ChasingCinema.com. Hit the news button. You'll be able to find this video. Click the link below. It'll take you to that teaser. Watch it. Then come back and you could, listen, you could unpause me and listen to what I have to say about it. Um, wow. Um, this trailer couldn't be more of like the what I would assume would be the trailer for London Has Fallen. Now, even though I think that Olympus Has Fallen was kind of entertaining, London Has Fallen just kind of looks really, really lazy in the sense that it's recreating this. I'm sorry, my dogs obviously don't like this movie either. Uh, I'm, I'm not saying that this movie looks bad, but it, I mean, it's literally like, oh, look, explosion, Gerard Butler, explosion, Aaron Eckhart, explosion. And I'm not saying the names, we're just seeing cl glimpses of these actors and these performers. Um, it looks like an action movie, nonetheless. It looks like a, a, a run-of-the-mill action movie. It doesn't look anything spectacular. The effects look cheesy. I mean, at the very end of the trailer, we see these buildings on fire, and I'm just like, oh man, that looks like the PS1 cheesy effects from the Olympus Has Fallen. And it does. Like, the fire doesn't look real, and of course, you know, they go with the flag. I don't know if you remember the part from Olympus Has Fallen where the flag is literally falling from the White House, and everyone's like, oh no, it's it's America. And, you know, this, we have the, the, um, the flag just kind of draping over the titles. But, I, I mean, this, this is a trailer that kind of really had no profound effect on me either. I mean, a lot of things that are happening today are things that are, are cool, but not like, oh, man. Maybe besides the uh, Entertainment Weekly cover photo, which featured Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, which, if you've not seen my coverage on, head over to our YouTube channel and check that video out because the images they revealed are pretty awesome. So go check out that video. Um... Yeah, there's a lot of explosions going on here. Uh, it doesn't look too interesting or engaging. It doesn't really kind of give us an idea of what the exact story is going to be. But we all know that Gerard Butler and it seems possibly teaming up with Aaron Eckhart and Morgan Freeman are going to help save London from a, a, some sort of terrorist attack. I don't know. But nonetheless, what are your thoughts about London Has Fallen? That's what's most important. Let me know down here in the comment sections below. I'm willing to have that dialogue with you. I'm always interested in having that dialogue with you. So please, let's do it. Let me know how you feel about this trailer down here below. Also, make sure to hit the like button. That really just shows me you guys are really supporting what I'm doing here. You give me a thumbs up, and it's kind of like a pat on the back for myself. And if you can, share this with your friends and, and your loved ones on Facebook, on Twitter, or whatever it may be, or just tell them word of mouth, because the greatest compliment you could ever give us is uh, spreading the word about us, because that means you really like us. You really like us. Last but not least, like I said, I talked about... Batman and Superman, and Wonder Woman being on the cover of Entertainment Weekly. Um, I'm ta uh, today I also talked about Deadpool. I talked about the Steve Jobs trailer. I'm talking about Robert Downey Jr.'s Pinocchio film and much, much more, guys. So thank you so much for tuning into this video. But go check out all the other videos that we post on a daily basis. Multiple videos every single day. I want to keep you in the loop of what's going on in Hollywood. So make sure you're with me on that. Best way to do that. 
hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button every single day. It will it'll let you know that I've made videos and you can check them out. So I really appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into this video today. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't already know, my name is Jacob Toronto and I am your host. Thank you so much for watching this video and taking time out of your day. And please continue chasing cinema.